All right, we are back with another five minute Friday. We got our man, Jake, behind the camera who's reading a big list of questions. I don't know if this is gonna take me. I feel like these, it needs to be like three minute Friday, three minute Thursday. <laughs> five minutes is a long time, but we're gonna get you some answers to some really great stuff in five minutes or less. Jake, what are they asking? How long should my workouts be? And we're gonna start the timer. Okay, how long should workouts be? I think this is a really, really, do you have a timer? Are we yep. timing? Okay. I think this is a really great question because I I do think, especially with the people that are here watching these videos and people that I typically am answering questions from, we have the idea, the false idea that workouts have to take an hour to be effective, that in order to get a workout in that makes any sense, I, I need to uh, completely stop my day, get a babysitter for my kids, leave my house, go to the gym. I mean, right there, that's a 30 minute ordeal, packing yourself up, getting to the gym. I need to spend at least an hour at the gym and a half hour driving home. It's a two hour ordeal. And what happens is because in our minds, the idea of going to gym, we have kids, we have lives, we have careers, is so big, it seems unattainable. It seems like a thing we can't do every single day. Um, and so what do we do? Instead of getting some in, we get none in. We feel like if we can't do it perfectly, we're not gonna do it at all. When the answer is, I should have said this first, the answer is your workouts should be as long as you can commit time to. It truly does not matter if it's five minutes, if it's 10 minutes, if it's 15, 20, one hour, an hour and a half, whatever you can actually devote time to in that day, in that moment is what your workout should be. I have started doing this thing that I firmly believe in and they are called 10 minute timeouts because again, I'm a mom. I have four kids, I have a career, I have, I'm going every which way and I fall victim to the, to the same thing that every single person watching this falls victim to and I get caught up in my head thinking, oh my gosh, if I can't go to the gym and do a leg workout or a glute workout from my uh, program that I created, I'm, what good is it to get a workout in anyway? It is very, very good. And so I believe every single day we all have 10 minutes. Not only do we have 10 minutes, but I believe we need to take 10 minutes for the most important person in the world, and that is ourselves. And you would be shocked at, yeah, physiologically, you can get a lot done in 10 minutes. Set the clock for 10 minutes. Uh, inside, I have an app that I'm coming out with. I don't know when you're watching this, it might already be there. I have 10 minute timeouts that are being built into the app. I also have 10 minute timeouts that I talk about on my Instagram page, my blog, but set the clock for 10 minutes. Physiologically, you're gonna get really incredible muscle stimulus if you have intention in those 10 minutes. For example, you can choose three to five movements. All three to five of these can actually be body weight movements. You can do them all right here on the comfort of your own floor at home. Um, and if you actually, again, with intention, continue moving for the entirety of the 10 minutes, you will feel amazing physiologically, physically, but most importantly, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, uh, in every single way, you'll feel like you actually accomplished something for the day. And you're gonna eliminate all feelings of, if I can't do a full hour, then I'm not gonna get it in, which again, stops all of us. So my belief is your workout should be as long as you can commit time to in that single day. And then there should be zero guilt around it. I don't care if you're following a plan that has five workouts a day, it needs to be an hour a day. Remember guys, we are building, we are creating a lifestyle. And if the plan you're following is not something you can follow forever, you are at some point going to feel like a failure. If it's not sustainable, your plan that you're following is not, I'm sorry, <laughs> what is it again? If it's not, sustainable, your goal long-term is not attainable. Oh my goodness, this is what four kids and a lot going on in my life looks like. Anyway, I hope that answers your question. Uh, again, any amount of time, but I'm gonna give you, if I have to give you a number, I'm gonna say 10 minutes every single day. Do not forget your 10 minute timeout. Oh, and that's it. So I don't need, how many minutes do I have left on here? That was four minutes right there. You have one more left. Four minutes. All right, guys, in four minutes or less, I gave you, you could have been uh, four minutes through a 10 minute workout right now. If you started working out, when you started watching this video, you would have gotten it done. All right, comment below. Let me know what other questions you want me to answer in the five minute Fridays. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys, bye.